Hello viewers, it's a warm welcome to the National News on Star Television on Channel 21. First, the headlines. 22 schools have participated in a public speaking competition at the two-day code building at Raleigh College, University of Sierra Leone. Very important, it's not just for the pupils but for the country. Aminata and Sons Corporation, a leading petroleum provider in Nigeria, is poised to revolutionize the very sector by setting the And Lake Sun Farm, a freshwater lake surrounded by lush landscapes and vibrant wildlife, has served as a vital resource for local communities. Those are the headlines. Welcome back, now for the news in detail. As part of efforts to bluster support for effective public speaking, 22 schools have participated in a public speaking competition held at the Tunde Co building at Fabe College, University of Sierra Leone. Star Television spoke to Dr. Bernadette Kamara in his interview on the importance of public speaking. Very important, it's not just for the people, but for the country, because um, this uh, uh, event is the public speaking for girls, and this year is named after me, Dr. Bernadette S. Kamara, public speaking for girls. And what it entails is um, different days of uh, mentoring, teaching, advising, advocating, empowering, and helping these kids uh, not just have a voice to stand on their own, but also to be ambassadors, as you will, if you will, so that they can go out there and talk about these topics we are uh, battling with, which are gender-based. Aminata and Sons Incorporation, a leading petroleum provider in Liberia, is poised to revolutionize Sierra Leone's petroleum sector by setting new standards. The development comes at a crucial time when the country is experiencing growth in its extractive industry, attracting international investors. Aminata and Sons' commitment to delivering high-quality petroleum products and services has been widely acclaimed by key stakeholders, positioning them as a pivotal player in the region's energy landscape. And it is still poised to do it more within the petroleum industry. Today, uh, Saturday, Uh, just, you know, we have uh, we have laid out 
for a short say for serving the people of Sierra Leone. Though this the vessel all the vets, the vessel for cancer load, it cost the company a bit more, but despite that extra cost day. Next still in the heart of Sula Mountains, Lake Sunfon has long been celebrated for its stunning biodiversity and ecological significance. This precious freshwater lake surrounded by lush landscapes and vibrant wildlife has served as a vital resource for local communities providing water food and a habitat for various species. Nestled in the heart of the Sula Mountain, Lake Sonfo has long been celebrated for its stunning biodiversity and ecological significance. This precious freshwater lake, surrounded by lush landscape and vibrant wildlife, has served as a vital resource for local communities, providing water, food and habit for various species. However, the tranquility of Lake Sonfo is now under severe threat due to the rampant illegal mining activities. Lake Sonfo is renowned for its rich biodiversity, hosting numerous species of fish, bird, and other wildlife. The lake's unique ecosystem supports both aquatic and the territorial life, making it a crucial component of the region's environmental health. The surrounding forest and wetland contribute to the lake's ecological balance, providing habit for endangered species and acting as a natural filtration system for water quality. In recent years, illegal mining activities have proliferated around Lake Sonfo, driven by demand for minerals and precious metals. These activities, often conducted without proper regulations or oversight, have devastating impact on the environment. Deforestation, soil erosion, and water pollution are just a few of the consequences of these unregulated practices. The influx of heavy machinery and the cleaning of land disputes and delicate ecosystems that have strived for centuries. The operations not only degrade the landscape but also threaten the wildlife of local communities. Fishermen and farmers who depend on the lake's resources are finding it increasingly difficult to sustain their way of life as water quality deteriorates and fish population decline. The loss of biodiversity and inhabit also pose a risk to the cultural heritage of communities that have lived in harmony with the lake for generations. As Lake Sonfo tears on the brink of ecological collapse, it is imperative that local and national authorities take immediate action to address the illegal mining crisis. Strengthening enforcement of environmental regulations, increasing surveillance of mining activities, and imposing strict penalties for violations are crucial steps that must be taken. Additionally, engaging local communities in conservation efforts can foster a sense of stewardship and 
empower the residents to protect their natural resources. Public awareness campaigns are also essential in highlighting the importance of Lake Sunfo and the threat it faces. By educating the community about the ecological and economic value of Lake Sunfo, stakeholders can really support for preservation initiative and sustainable practice. The ongoing destruction of Lake Sunfo by illegal miners is a pressing environmental crisis that demands urgent attention. This freshwater lake, with its unparalleled biodiversity, is not only a vital resource for local communities, but also a crucial component of the region's ecological health. Without immediate intervention, Lake Sunfo risks facing irreversible damage and extinction. It is our collective responsibility to advocate for its protection, ensuring that future generations can enjoy the beauty and benefit of this natural wonder. The time to act is now, before it is too late. Reporting for Star TV News in Freetown, I am George Elliot Sam. If you've just joined us, this is the national news on Star Television on Channel 21. The Guarantee Trust Bank Sierra Leone on Friday, 18th October, 2024, donated bags of rice and cooking oil to customers of the bank who won prizes from the Keep for the Bambai, a loaded promotion. Keep for the Bambai, this is a loaded where we don't do before and we see the turnover, we see the participation of the customers then. So we think and say, ah, now two years so now we don't do this, so you know, this Keep for the Bambai. So we'll do something back again for make the customer the glad and happy for me. So we come with this initiative for a customer then. As of Jika, Six Coast Bank, Freetown, Upline, I just want to encourage them. When they continue for safe, safe, because we get the bigger price way now the motorbike. And we know see how commercial be the motorbikes. And so most of them may just save the win less and all. It's enough. So why also you go win the bike? Where you, you get your money, you know, for dinner traffic, and you commercialize them. So I just encourage them, we'll continue for save more. And we, if you know the customer at GT Bank, our baker joined this family with so sweetness, and that was the guarantee of the moment. They say you don't win oil. I didn't have my office, nothing with company they say. I see the community say I don't win oil. I see but I don't believe. So after three days, I tried the life, but I don't pick up. So me get this saying, go to reality. Just satisfy this way then give me. All these bank with them. Because for what joined in 2013, and not to say I come to the wife, waiting, I don't receive so. I did urge my company for leading back bank now so so they will get the same way we I get so. Oh, one better oil now. We actually surprised why the people. In fact, I will say I didn't for one night, guys, because they tried me several times and I can't really escape them. But this time round. When they call me that uh, up to this time minute, I have call one woman. I even tell her and say, I say, um, this this day I don't believe I say for and I say no, I say just come soon as they come and come so. The message I get for the other customers the way they're outside and they watch me. Now that uh, I start banking with this um, uh, bank since 2014, the bola time, when I get job and uh, before saving at this bank. I advise everybody where the bank, GT Bank, and you will know the bank, let it be for bank because more and uh, win is a uh, thing they do for win. I'm going to say, that's calm. I'm going to say, that's fake. And even after the call, I'm going to call. Everybody they call. And that's what GT Bank called me, that's what GT Bank called me, that's what. Well, I'm going to say, thank you. I'm going to say, that's what I'm going to say. So, um, we want to work on that. And we also want to thank you for all the bank with you. And we hope so that we will continue for bank with you and continue for save. The more you save, the more you get chance for win. And no reason because you don't win is to say your account score can go back home. We want to continue for save and no one forget for the divine prize also for the um, Yokada them. So we want to continue for save. Maybe we will lucky. I'm now to round up the national news. The Sierra Leone Association of Little People, in collaboration with the National Commission for Persons with Disability, Sight Savers, Sierra Leone and Leon Rock Metal Group, including the Ministry of Social Welfare, 
commemorated this year's International Dwarfism Awareness Day on October 25, 2024. The event, which was held at the Thrabi Community Playing Field, which featured a friendly match to raise awareness and to promote inclusion for persons living with dwarfism. George Elliott Sam reports. Graphism is a condition of people and animals marked by unusual small size or short stature. In humans, it is sometimes defined as an adult height of less than 147 centimeters, which is 4 feet 10 inches. Regardless of sex, the average adult height among people with graphism is 120 centimeters, which is 4 feet. Sierra Leone is no exception of people living with dwarfism. In this regard, the Sierra Leone Association of Little People, in collaboration with the National Commission for Persons Living with Disability, Sightsaver Sierra Leone, Leon Rock Metal Group, and the Ministry of Social Welfare came together to commemorate this year's International Dwarfism Awareness Day on the 25th of October 2024. The event, which was held at the Frabe Community Playing Field, featured a friendly football match to raise awareness and promote inclusion for persons living with dwarfism. Sheriff Abbas Kuruma, president of the Sierra Leone Association of Little People, emphasized the importance of educating the public about dwarfism and breaking down the stereotype and stigmas associated with the condition. He encouraged individuals to embrace diversity and treat everyone with respect and dignity. I mean a lot for you, but like um, the international world we celebrate um, um, person living dwarfism. We October 25 now any year we can celebrate the International World Dwarfism Awareness Day. We today we have the type of celebration. We organize a football match in a between the big community and the rural community. Why we organize this football match? Because we want to break down the barriers. We want to tell people and say we think any number of people need that to do one. Now the reason this need to try to organize this particular match and then we should speak and say we back people for the end to any possible in our life. You know, we get members of the community from the provinces, members of the community from the Kenya and Kenya. All around us, I mean, just imagine, we say that we're not people, we not only for Africa, not only based on Africa, but we're the province. Because we have a lot of people living from the province that can't participate in particular program. Well, we've got a lot of projects that we want to do, because more we focus on environment. For since most of the members of the landscape training, we're going to benefit from Because why do we need to make a promise to the nation and for change the narrative of people? Because people need to look at this, and we need to really depend on them. So, like, now make a promise on the issue, and how we say, Send me money for the last game, we don't have to put an education, but we will get uh, access to any library in our country. We make people become a better society. We should try to believe in this thing, we will get responsibility for responsibility. Well, I send a great money to the company and say, no matter how you look, no matter how you turn, just believe in yourself. Life is all about believing yourself. Are you for believing yourself for any person to believe in you? And no opportunity for back yeah. That's what we don't make money. So there's no reason how to make money. She don't have all you say because of the discrimination or way people are discriminating in that people. Not make any sense. No opportunity to focus on you that way. That's all. Okay, it's support from the Ministry of Social Welfare. We support you. Uh, 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 the uh, uh, National Commission of Persons with Disability. You're an individual. All the people who support you, we really appreciate them. We want to bless them and we really appreciate them all. The um, um, uh, uh, real work, the, the Individual people in the way we support Site Saver because Site Saver send a journalist now and one of the person. We really appreciate the way that they take care of all the people who are going to take care of the journalist side. So we really appreciate it. Olu Bostin Clark, the National Coordinator for the Sierra Leone Administration of Little People, highlighted the challenges faced by persons living with dwarfism in accessing health care, education, and employment opportunities. He called for greater support and inclusion for individuals with dwarfism in all sectors of society. The challenges are so many, but like we don't cover small, small, we go gradually because uh, before when they be the past, people they, 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 they boo at them, they call them toku, they show this, that. But since we remove this awareness, now it's not easy to make hearing somebody who call them so. Even uh, for call themselves a uh, dwarf, it's a uh, racism uh, chat down. So now you like call a little man or little woman. Or little person. So if you call an anime, the law will take calls against you. So like uh, we remove on gradually, step by step, improvement they can. So they can make you get a, 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 a vocational center on your own. We they plan for make you get let them get a home on their own. Because some of us see that they're vulnerable, so they accept 
even when you see that zone, they're not out for tire for waka. If they don't go to wheelchair. So like uh, all them plans are there, when they put them on so that we able to get homes for them, where they go there, and when they talk to the government and uh, other parents, they tell them, even the big foods there, they can give them, they uh, they own a comfort. Because like for salon, we not get a comfort for any building or position for them to take care. But when you go to other parts of the world, you they see them with class every day, then get their own way where they can. Now, our, our offices there or houses there, then they build their own ways there, they own steps there. So the plans that they all will put there to make a, a come to reality. The event was attended by members of the community, representatives from various organizations who pledged their commitment and support for the rights and well-being of persons living with dwarfism in Sierra Leone. The football match brought together individuals of all abilities and showcased the importance of unity and acceptance. As the day came to close, participants reflect on the impact of the event and the need for continued advocacy and awareness efforts to promote equality and inclusion for persons living with dwarfism. The Sierra Leone Association of Little People expressed their gratitude to all partners and supporters for their commitment to advancing the rights of individuals with dwarfism in the country. For Star TV News in Freetown, George Elliott Sam reporting. Well, viewers, that's all we have for you in today's edition of the National News on Star Television on Channel 21. I am Yessi Ernest Halloga. Thank you for watching.